So I've had a trig board hooked up to this door for a couple of years now and it works great. As soon as the door opens, I get a push notification to my phone within three seconds anywhere in the world. Let me show you real quick. Okay, you see side door has opened. And that's great and all, but this goes into my dark garage. And as you saw in my last video with the trig board integrating in with Home Assistant, it was actually a piece of cake to do this. Let me show you. So let's say I'm taking the garbage out here to the garage, open the door up, and I get the push notification to my phone, and we activate a light out there so I can see where the garbage cans are. It's pretty cool. And a super easy project now with Home Assistant. Let me show you how this is done. And if you don't feel like watching this entire video, you can head over to the docs, and I've got this whole project guide right over here on the left. Trig board activated Wi-Fi light bulb. And this goes through everything I'm going to talk about here step by step. So you can just go and check out the link in the description below and follow the guide instead. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the light bulb. And for this project, I wanted it to be as straightforward as possible. I didn't want to have to reflash firmware, something that just works right out of the box as fast as possible. And that also includes the trig board. All we have to do is set up the MQTT parameters and we're good to go. And we'll talk about that in a second. But for the light bulb, I went with this Casa Smart KL110. It's a very similar kind of setup as, you know, most of the IoT devices. You know, you download their Casa app, you go and add the device, uh, you connect to it from your Wi-Fi settings, and then the app sort of guides you through connecting to your own network, and then you give it a name. Now, this is important because this is the name we're going to use in the Home Assistant configuration. And by the way, I didn't bother setting up an account with TP-Link or anything. You can skip all of that. You just want to use the app to gain some control over the light bulb. And then you'll be able to, you know, demonstrate that you can turn it on and off from the phone. And then you're good from there on out. So you see from my phone here, I can, you know, turn the light bulb on and off. And that works fine. So uh, we're good there. So we can move on now to bringing the light bulb control over into Home Assistant. So we go over here to configuration, integrations. You click down here at the bottom right, add integration. You get this little pop up and now you can add the TP-Link Casa Smart here integration. I already have it installed. So once you see it down here, what I did was I clicked these three dots, went to system options, and then just gave it a quick update there. So, and if you're brand new to Home Assistant, I recommend watching my last video uh, where I walked through the complete setup here how to get Home Assistant installed, you know, and some of the uh, the key things we're gonna need, like making sure it's in advanced mode, where the IP address is. We're obviously going to need the MQTT Mosquito Broker add-on installed, and so on. And by the way, we're also going to be editing the YAML file here, you see, using file editor, so this even shows you how to install that. So anyway, here we are back at the file editor. We're editing the configuration YAML file, and for the TP-Link bulb integration, all we need to do is add this here, TP-Link discovery false. It's a light. The host is that same name we gave it in the app. And I was surprised how well this worked. I thought we would have to go and find the IP address uh, for the bulb, but we just need to put the same name in as you put in the app as you see it there. Okay, so we give that a save. Now we can go and restart Home Assistant will go to Configuration, down to Server Controls, give it a restart, and then once it's back online, we can then go and check and make sure we have control over that light bulb. So we'll go over to Overview, and in Lights here, I already have the card, but I'll show you how to do that quickly here. Edit the dashboard, add a card, and then we're going to create a light card. There's the garage light bulb, and you just want to make sure that you can turn it on and off. And then also, of course, you can control the brightness. Now in here, this is important, you want to set what brightness you want this bulb to turn on at, because uh, with our trig board uh, automation, we're not going to change the brightness, we're just gonna toggle it. So uh, if you want it to turn on at full brightness, just leave it at full brightness, then go ahead and turn it off, and you're good to go. Okay, so now we have control over the light bulb. Let's bring in this trig board. I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, we're within Google Chrome. We'll press and hold the wake button on the trig board till the LED flashes. There we go. 
Go ahead and connect to it. So one of my favorite things about the trig board here is that I can have multiple services. So this trig board here right now for a while has been monitoring that door on its own network. It's battery backed. It doesn't rely on internet access. It doesn't rely on my own, you know, the home Wi-Fi network here. It doesn't even rely on power because everything is battery backed. It sends a message via TCP to a gateway where then that gateway sends it out via cellular. And I want to keep all of that because it's a really nice uh, security system. And the cool thing about the trig board is that we can keep those settings as well as just adding MQTT here so that it still sends out the push notification in that ultra secure way. Then it goes, connects to the home network to send the MQTT packet. And if you're interested in that home security system, you can go here. I've got a full guide to that as well. The cellular battery backed system, UDP or TCP. And the UDP TCP notification uses its own SSID and password, which means it's going to wake. It's going to send that notification to this gateway here. Then it's going to connect to the home network, which is configured up here to send out the packet via MQTT. So your settings here are pretty simple. This is just your login password to Home Assistant. The port is 1883, and then the server is the uh, IP address of your Home Assistant. Then you give it a unique topic name, and in this case, we'll call it Garage Door. And that's all there is to it. Again, we're going to, in this case, leave all of these messages alone. And by the way, this is true if you wanted to use any of these other uh, services like push over, push safer, if this, then that. Heck, you could have them all enabled if you really wanted to. So anyway, let's disconnect here and then head back over to Home Assistant. Okay, so now we're back at the configuration YAML file and we'll just scroll down here and you see the new entry I have in here is, is uh, MQTT. There's the topic garage door that we had put in for the configurator parameter and then give it some name. We'll just call it garage door. Uh, the icon doesn't matter, but just door, whatever. And then the value template here is important because we're going to pull in that message and all we do is separate out by comma because we're going to have the full message here sent over to home assistant so you have the you know side door has opened comma battery voltage so we only care about side door has opened because that won't change it'll be has opened and then it'll be has closed and we only want that first part so that's what we're going to see here so what we'll do now is go ahead and uh, save this go back to configuration and now we can go to server control scroll down a little bit and only reset manually configured MQTT entries or entities. Okay, then once things are back online, we'll go to overview. Uh, we'll just uh, do a quick test here. Edit this. And this is a uh, an entity card here. So I've added in sensor garage door. So you should see this now. Sensor garage door. We'll go ahead and leave that there. So right now it's unknown. And if I open up the trig board here or wake it up you'll see side door opened and then if I close the door you'll see side door closed so you want to copy and paste those two messages out because now we're going to create the automation to uh, to turn the light on and off so then we'll just go to configuration automations you're going to add an automation start with an empty automation I already have this one created, so let's go here and give it some name, Garage Light. The trigger is going to be State, so we'll click State. Sensor Garage Door is the entity, and you see how easy this is. From side door closed to side door opened, so that's what's going to trigger this automation. No conditions, then the actions here will be Device. And garage light bulb, which is that light bulb we configured, the TP Link Casa light bulb. And then you see we have a bunch of actions here. We're going to turn on the garage light bulb, brightness at 100. Although even changing this to like 50 and you know, 10 or whatever didn't seem to make a difference. So I kept that at 100. And then as you saw in the dashboard, I just set the brightness to whatever I want it to be because all this really seems to do is just turn it on. So then I added an action delay because what I want to do here is just leave the light bulb on for five minutes. 
Then after five minutes, I added an action here, device again, garage light bulb, to turn off the garage light bulb. And that's it. So now when the door opens, garage light turns on for five minutes and then turns off automatically. So watch what happens. I go and open the door, went from closed to open, and right here immediately in Home Assistant, you see the garage light bulb turned on. So let's do a full timing demo here. We'll go from closed to open. You see the trig board wakes up, how fast. Got the push notification out to my phone and the light bulb, light bulb there turns on in Home Assistant all within, you know, three seconds or so. So it's incredibly fast. So there you have it, just another example here using trig board with Home Assistant doing something useful here. You know, I'm actually turning a light on. It's also demonstrating that the trig board can also connect to another network or another service to get the push notification out just in case you don't want to roll all of your home security in with Home Assistant. Like you see here, you know, if I lose power to the Raspberry Pi or I lose internet access, this is still sending to the battery backed gateway to get that push notification out via cellular. So just a, kind of a cool example. And I'm doing a ton of stuff with Home Assistant. Like, look at this dashboard here. I've got trig boards monitoring, uh, you know, ultra low current draw here on a solar setup monitoring that, which I'll talk about in a future video and all kinds of stuff. So I'm just totally impressed with what you can do here. And it's not all about trig board either, by the way. I'm also using uh, ESP Home and I've got those boards all over the place. So if you want more videos like this or you got any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.